I'm Olivia, and this is Grace, and um, we're here at Dr. Sahara's hyperbaric chamber. We heard about it um, from a friend who recommended it, thought it might be good for Grace, who suffered brain damage during a surgery due to accidental oxygen deprivation when she was nine months old, and that resulted in a diagnosis of cerebral palsy. And um, although we tried a lot of therapies, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, none of them really addressed the root of her problem, which was brain damage. Um, and when a friend suggested hyperbaric, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, um, it, I saw a lot of testimonials by other parents, which helped me to decide to try it. And I'm so glad that I did because even though we've kept all of her therapies going, we're addressing the root of the problem. She's attempting to communicate so much more. She's making sounds we've never heard before. Um, and she's much stronger, better balance, better coordination. So it's like it's feeding all of her other therapies and just giving her more energy. Um, awesome. And really addressing the root of her problem, yeah. How many sessions do you know that you've taken, done so far? So far we've done 25. Okay. And we're going to do a full 40 sessions at least because from all of the research that I did myself, I learned from other parents as well as practitioners that 40 is kind of a magic number where the gains become more permanent because a lot of the rebuilding happens at a very deep um, cellular level. And if you don't do full 40 sessions, then sometimes the gains can just be temporary. So we're going to do full 40 sessions. And then, you know, based on testimonials of some parents, it could be an ongoing therapy to help her continue to improve. But it's just amazing to give her that healing in her brain, which is where she needs it the most. Awesome. And yes, Gracie, I've seen for a bit, and we can she see her. Absolutely, the funny thing too. And is she scared in there? I was Let me just ask the say, you know, give yeah. some parents uh, what they need to expect. Well, it might be helpful because I wasn't sure what to expect when I took her in there, and I just started with thirty minutes to see how she would do. Uh, and I really didn't know what it would be like for her. She'd be scared if I would have to pull out all of my my techniques as a parent to keep her calm and in fact she loves it in there. Awesome. We call it her book tent and we bring a bag of books, her favorite books and now she gets really excited to go into the book tent and if you even say the words book tent she will dance <laughs> and stomp around and get really excited so I've been so relieved that she enjoys it and we started at 1.5 atmospheric pressures per session and then gradually worked our way up and now we're doing three atmospherics and I did see a difference in the atmospheric pressure and the results in her sharpness and in her attempt to make sounds and articulate so I personally would recommend going up to three if, if it's feeling good for your child because I think it's better Great. personally. And then mom and Gracie, can we use your testimony for other moms and, and yes. kids that have Gracie's issue? Yes, I think this is a wonderful therapy and I hope that everyone who has these kinds of issues can give it a try. It really has helped her and there's nothing that feels better to me than helping her. So. Thank you very much. You're welcome.